In this video, I will show you how to register, create an Nmap user account, and assign to different user roles in the Nmap Data Access Portal. To register at the Nmap Data Access Portal, first open your preferred web browser and type https colon double forward slash planning dot nmap dot org. The Nmap Instrument Planning Portal homepage opens. Now, click on Sign Up as you don't have an account yet. The new user registration form of the Nmap Account and Password Self Service opens. Here, general information such as your name and surname, your affiliation, and an email contact are requested. Mandatory fields are marked with an asterisk. Please make sure to provide your full address, including street name, postcode, city, and country, since the Nmap service is obliged to carry out an EU sanctions list check for every user and requires this information. Once you have successfully filled out the form, a green bar will appear, letting you know that your account is ready to be created. Following the submission of your personal information, an email with a verification code is sent to the email address you have provided. Please note that the verification code is valid for 30 minutes only. Click Check Code and subsequently Continue. Please read the license agreement carefully. There is plenty of information to be found in the associated documents. Most importantly, as a licensee, it is strictly prohibited to redistribute the products to third parties or commercially use them. In addition, note how you should refer to Nmap data in any of your future work in which you show Nmap data in original or modified form. Finally, tick all boxes and click Continue. Congratulations! This completes the registration phase. You can now log in at the Instrument Planning Portal. Click Log In and provide your personal data. After the login, you will find yourself at the Instrument Planning Portal homepage that shows four different portals. The Proposal Portal, the Calibration Request Portal, the Observation Request Portal, and the User Portal. In the next step, Users will need to assume different roles before obtaining access to Nmap data. Directly after registration, the new user account is not assigned to any specific Nmap role. You can see that by hovering over the blue Role Selection field in the top right corner. No roles can be chosen. And as you haven't applied to a specific user role, all portals except for the user portal are deactivated. To apply for a user role, Navigate to the User Portal by clicking on Enter. Opening the User Portal, you will see what user roles are available. The roles that are most likely relevant for you are Category 1, Catalog, and Category 2. All other roles are for mission internal users only. After approval, all registered Nmap user roles have full access to the Nmap Data Archive. As scientific users, we will apply for the Category 1 user role by clicking on Assign. Each Category 1 user has to be assigned to an Open Announcement of Opportunity, or AO for short, before being able to submit a new proposal or order future observation requests. Depending on your use cases, select one or more AOs, proceed with Assign, and confirm the role assignment. If you plan on browsing the Nmap Data Archive without submitting your own proposal, please apply for the Catalog Category 1 Distributor User Role by clicking on Assign and Confirm your choice. An automated email notification will inform you about the release of your requested user roles. Under Requested Roles in your user portal, you can see which user roles you have applied for. You can see that the other portals have now been activated following your successful registration and user role assignment. Depending on your task at hand, you may have to switch user roles. This can be done by clicking the blue Role Selection field in the top right corner. Here it is also indicated which role you are currently inheriting. You can now either enter a new proposal in the Proposal Portal or browse through the Nmap Data Archive in the EOWeb GeoPortal for already existing data. I will show you how to do that in the next video.